Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you another Monster Legends Guides. Uh, so yeah, as you know, I haven't, been done the, I haven't done any of these in a while. It's because I've been usually sick. Uh, and uh, I also haven't really posted the rest of the Halloween ones. Uh, I'll post that like tomorrow. It's like Sunday night. Uh, I'm proud. This is the only one I'm going to be posting tonight. Uh, but yeah, this is Holter's pet. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's adult form, it's uh, teenage form, and it's baby form. The most important thing you need to know about this monster is this monster looks like... You know, I, I kid you not, this thing looks like Chewbacca mixed with a gremlin. Uh, that's... that's, <laughs> uh, that's. I guess that's not really important, but that's, you know, that's a funny fact, uh, I suppose. Uh, it's, it's Chewbacca mixed with gremlin, uh, pretty much. Uh, and I guess the second thing, I guess the, the actual important thing you should know about this monster is he's a tank. Uh, he's very slow, uh, 3,069 speed, that's, like, for metal monsters, I think that's actually pretty slow. Uh, he might, he might be the slowest metal monster, uh, but yeah, he's, he's pretty slow. I, I don't know if there's any other monsters that have a lower speed than that, but he is probably the slowest metal monster, uh, in Monster Legends. Uh, he's, he's earning a life of 31,366. I don't know if that's a whole lot. Uh, for metal monsters, it might be, it might not be. I do not know. It might be slightly higher than Metalhead, and it may not. Uh, but that is a, that's a pretty good, that's a good life power, I'd say. So, yeah, this guy's obviously a slow tank. Uh, he's also kind of an attacker, too, with that 3,454 attack. Uh, but you'll see with his kit, his... His damage output uh, compared to other metal attackers might not be as pretty, uh, or he's just one of those. He's kind of isn't. Uh, he's like one of those. Like you know, it's the issue with all magnetizing. He's one. Of, he's a magnetizer again, pretty much. Uh, he's nothing really too big. Uh, this is like. Uh, this might be one of the last, like, this might be the third to last monster uh, in the past series uh, for the you know because we, there's no. Uh, uh, I suppose there's no Achilles pet. Uh, I was hoping we'd see Achilles pet. Uh, I've, I've realized none of these, like, monsters from, like, all these general pets, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone else knows this now, too, uh, is none of the general pets are phenomenally better than their general masters. Uh, in my opinion, I think with all these all these pets, I think it, it, just, it just goes with every single one. None of them are going to be phenomenally powerful than their master. I think their masters are just the... It's just going to be the way it is. Their masters are always better than their pets. Uh, it's just how it's looking right now uh, at the moment. Uh, because with Nishant's pet uh, and Nishant himself, I know like Nishant, uh, Nishant's pet is a denier, uh, but mind you, N N the general Nishant himself has tough, so he has a chance to actually avoid being possessed. Uh, you know, with that stuff and stuff like that. Uh, Nishan's pet actually doesn't even have gener he doesn't even have tough, and for some reason he just doesn't have tough, uh, which is a really th real th weird thing not to have because all the other generals have tough. Uh, so why doesn't this guy have tough? Uh, he's a general pet, so why doesn't he have tough? Uh, and with, like, Thede's pet, Thede's pet owls all water moves. I can't imagine that ever being a good thing ever. Uh, there's no special attack, so therefore he doesn't really do any... Uh, you can't really do anything against other water monsters. Granted, like, all water monsters aren't really, uh, like, they're usually, like, deniers to begin with, but then again, keep in mind, uh, you're not doing any effective damage, so it's gonna take longer to kill, and that's just ridiculous. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Darmus Pet. Darmus Pet doesn't have any self-buffs, uh, completely avoidant from Darmuth himself. Darmuth has, like, uh, reduced damage, double damage, uh, he, he's just phenomenally better in every single way, uh, in terms of viability. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, Darmuth's pet does a shit ton of damage, uh, but Darmuth, uh, General Darmuth himself can do AoE buffs, uh, and he's just got, he's got a lot of stuff that gives them pros and just, a, just total pros, uh, really. And with Jarmus Pez, he, he just do, he's just the basic fire monster. He's nothing too special. Like he like a, any other fire monster like in the game literally can do his job. Literally anyone, because they're all they're all fire attackers. Re literally, that's all he, it's just the same thing. Uh let's see, are we going over Darmus Pet? Okay, well with a tomb pet, a tomb pet there's no really big like major like it's obvious like with Artum, Artum's better like way just way better in every single way than 
uh, Artum's pet because he can AoE stun, he can do shields, he can do double life. Uh, with General Artum's pet, he does none of that. He just has shields and uh, the same. He just has shields and return damage. That's all he has. Uh, and none of the moves he does is actually that, all that special. He's pretty much like Osteo class without the cool stuff. He has no self. He has really no like double damage or anything like that. Uh, I think he has a damage boost. Uh, so I th I would say he's better than Darmus pet because he actually gives himself buffs. Uh, but again, he's not, he's nothing too special. He, he is pretty much Osteo. He's bulkier Osteo class, if you want to think of him like that. He is bulkier Osteo class. Um, so yeah, uh, just putting that aside, none of the, none of the pets are any, any, like anything major, diff like stronger than their master themselves. Uh, if you want to debate that, uh, uh, I can see Nishin's pet maybe, but nothing, nothing else has really beaten them to their masters. Uh, just the masters are just superior and all all the time uh, and with these pets they're not any different uh if i had to like get pet a pet for just like design overall i think this monster's a really great design uh let's see it looks like a chewbacca and a, and a gremlin to combine that's that's just silly as shit uh but yeah let's get on to his moves you shall not leave deals very heavy metal damage to all enemies uh gives a 50 percent shield to all targets um i i would say with this one i i'd say with this uh this guy has a really strong ultimate uh i know it doesn't it's not in terms of damage output but it's in terms of like life sustainability a 50 percent shield is huge I, I like if you use like bastet you know how just how wonderful 50 percent shields are uh and if you just give everybody a 50 percent shield uh odds are they're not dying uh, they, they'll live a few turns for sure. They'll, they'll for sure live a few turns. It's just, that's how it is, uh, with the 50% shield, uh, especially if they're not running any buffs. If they're not on any buffs, then you're just going to be there for a long time. It's a good, it's a good defensive ability. I'd say this is a great defensive ult. It's just a really nice ult, uh, in general. It's too bad it does only metal damage, but A, it gives shields. That's all that matters. It gives a 50% shield, uh, we're gonna skip the we're gonna skip the first group unimportant. Uh, Destabilizer, fifty five damage, your turn cooldown. I actually like this. This is what I like about him. Uh, he uh, has a so zero turn fifty five damage and it magnetizes. This is great uh, because of everything else you, you pretty much want to combo that with with his ability. I think this is his only magnetizing move. I don't know if he has any other move like this, but this is his magnetizing move and it hits pretty damn hard. Uh, stronger than ever. Deals heavy metal damage, requ heals by 20%, requires cooldown. Uh, this is a great recovery move. I think this is a really not Again, he's a really tanky monster, keep in mind you. Uh, out of all the general pets, he may just very well be the tankiest of them all, uh, in terms of bulk. Uh, so this guy's really bulky. I really like this guy. Uh, he totally beats his master in the terms of, like, just overall defensive play. He doesn't have like the burst like uh, him, but he does have the defense, uh, and he's a tad bit slower. Granted, but he is pretty bulky. So if you do run like maybe like two two speeds and a a strength, you're pretty solid uh, in terms of uh, just overall protection. You can actually like if you do shove two speed runes on this guy. Think about it. if you do if you do uh, shove two speed runes on this guy. Uh, and a strength. I will recommend you run like a really heavy strength rune and two speeds uh, just because he has like really good defensive abilities and you want to take advantage of that. Uh, or you can run him with a hit life rune too, but you have to have t you have to at least have two speed runes. At the very least, run two speed runes. It's just it's just a good idea uh, just to take advantage of his bulkiness. Uh, so you don't you can just avoid taking damage from the attacker in general. Uh, <laughs> yeah, general. Uh, so yeah, uh, stronger than ever. This heals by 20%. I recommend this move uh, just to keep him healing. Uh, this is his really low AoE. Don't run this AoE. It's just not good. Uh, this is just a 30 damage AoE. Two turns. Uh, well, I'm going to do this two turns. That's a nice thing about it. I guess two, two, as a two turn cooldown. I, I run uh, real razor face all the time. And, uh, you know, the constant AoE is pretty great. Uh, gain fear. Deals low special damage. Gains a 75 shield. Uh... This is a really, I know this move looks strange on paper, but uh, if you really look into it, this guy gets a 75% shield. That's crazy. 75%, uh, it's over 50. Okay, remember how I said 50% shields are great? A 70, you're getting a 75% shield, man. You're not going, you're not going down any day of the week. He's, he's going to be there for a really long time. Uh, 
if you have if you do have the shield up, you're gonna be there for a while. Uh, that's why he's really really great at tanking, uh, tanking stuff. Uh, if you think about it, if you use the stabilizer, uh, I mean, if you use gang fear, then you use the stabilizer to magnetize someone. Then you can literally hit someone with stronger than ever or hit the mark. Uh, so what does hit mark, the mark do? Uh, deals heavy metal damage may apply damage boost to ally. Requires cooldown. I wonder if actually meant it means himself. I don't know if it's just a random target. But uh, yeah, this is this just gives a damage boost. I I I I think it's just himself in general. I don't think it hit, actually gives it to a random person. I think it's totally just himself, uh, which is fine. And we have the awakened beast. Deals moderate metal damage to all enemies. Requires cooldown. This is 45 damage AOE. I recommend this move. Alright, so what the move set should be. You should have, you totally should run uh, Destabilizer. You need to run Stronger Than Ever. Uh, gain Fear totally. And you guess you should have totally run the Deals Metal, uh, this uh, Waken Blast, uh, Waken Beast, I mean. Run this move too. Uh, Waken Beast, Gain Fear, Destabilizer, and Stronger Than Ever. This just takes advantage of all of his bulkiness. Uh, you can you can literally play around with this kit a bit. You can do you can probably run like uh, if you do if you don't want to run all the single target moves you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. I I, I recommend at least just get the get awakened blast at the very least uh, and uh, make sure uh, for an AOE you just need to run that AOE. Uh, this is this is just a good ability. So you totally run destabilizer stronger than ever, gain fear and awakened beast. Uh, it's just the combination I suggest. Uh, is this guy worth 2.2k? No, he's not. Uh, just like the, all the other generals, he's not worth 2.2k. Uh, well, I guess uh, I did say Nishin's pet is great, but now, now people, I, I've just been seeing so many people say he's not worth 2.2k. Uh, which is, yeah, I guess that kind of changes my thought on it is maybe he's not as great as a monster because I myself don't have Nishin's pet. Uh, maybe he's just not as great as thought. Uh, I have seen it. I, I will say this. I have seen it where more often than not, I've, I have, I have seen the, uh, thing like they use the two double damage buff and, uh, they don't get possessed, uh, which is not a good thing. Uh, it's usually on the generals. It's just never a good thing. And I, I, I've, I've had that happen to me a few times. I've literally been hit with that move, uh, on my, one of my, uh, like it's, I think it was either a hardened monster. Yeah, it was totally a hardened monster. Uh, and I actually didn't get the possession or possessed and I was able to just do damage and just win uh, because they buffed me uh, so yeah that's my thought on that uh, Holter's pet is I uh, really I'd say out of all of them he's really tanky uh, yeah that's that's it he's a really tanky monster I can see I can see people use him on like tanking like stalling teams uh, he's phenomenally just beefy uh, in every single way um, that's about it though. He is really slow. That's why, that's why I recommend at least two speed runes. Uh, and at least you should, you should totally run a, like you literally save up your, if you want to use this guy, save up, uh, some more coins for level nine strength rune. Uh, and just to give him like a, like a lot of power, or you can run him with a life rune. If you run him with life runes, he's just going to be really tanky. Uh, 75% shield is nuts. Uh, it's just really great. I know he's, it's like his damage output doesn't seem as good as the other ones, but keep in mind he is a tanky attacker. Uh, and not many people really value tanks to begin with, uh, which is kind of eh. But yeah, he also has tough, by the way, so he has 30% less chance to get it in a, uh, like, you know, like freezing and stuff like that. Uh, he's just really tanky. Uh, partners in general, uh, you want regeneration on your team. Uh, the longer this guy stays out here, the, the longer you're going to piss the enemy off. Uh, and that's really kind of what you want to deal with this, like, guy, too, is you want to piss off the enemy. Uh, just for, like, just giggles and stuff like that. Uh, so I, maybe maybe you would want to run a, uh, just the extra guy build, uh, speed, life, and a strength. Uh, you could totally do that, too. Uh, he would be weird. I mean, he would be weird to do that, but you can do that, too. You can totally do that. Uh... But yeah, that's all I really have to say about Holters. Oh, well, I didn't... Oh, I didn't go for Partners again. Uh, for Partners, uh, like another metal monster, really. Uh, Dad, I'd recommend Dad with this guy. Uh, let's see here. Any other... Honestly, any other metal monsters that magnetizes... Uh, we're talking about, like, uh, the Scorpion monster. We're talking about... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, Stinger. That's his name, Stinger. Uh, Dad. Any of those guys... Uh, Gretchen, 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 uh, Halter's Pit would love Gretchen. 
uh, in every single way with the like the return damage uh, and stuff like that. Uh, don't let you do that. Uh, and that's everything you need to know about Holter's bet. <laughs> uh, obviously, his 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 weakness alone is like control and you know damage over time. Uh, but overall, I'd say this guy's really. I, I'd say I'd I'd say out of all of them, I, I if I had to like choose like out of all of them, I think Holter's pet would be the one I'd choose. Like we're talking about with the current stuff right now that's out. Like we're talking about Thede's pet, Dharma's pet, uh, uh, Atum's pet, and uh, Nishan's pet. I would choose this guy, uh, because you know he's he's really bulky. Seventy five. Not many people like shields, but I think shields are really great. Uh, it's just it just, it just helps avoid damage overall. Uh, it's really effective when fighting teams that are very fast. Uh, it's just a nice thing to always have. Uh, I do like this guy a lot. He is a really... He, I think he's a really... He's an okay monster. He's not broken, uh, but he is okay. Uh, people don't... Or people in, in the in the wiki chat are probably saying, Oh, this guy sucks. He's too slow to do anything. Uh, just put a speed on... <laughs> just put a speeder on a uh, rune on him. It's the same logic as... Uh, have like a low life, like, like a low life a attacker, uh, just shove a life rune on him. Uh, that's how you fix that. That's how you fix anything really is to shove a life rune. Uh, given any situation, that's what you totally do. Uh, so that's everything that you need to know about Holter's pet. Uh, and if there's any questions or if there are any requests, put them in the comments below. Uh, I will be happy to answer them. Uh, I'm did the awesome, and I'll catch you guys later.